why and what makes our training different and how do we get results for our clients and we're pretty excited to share which things make this happen. First you have to understand after a stroke or severe brain injury you go back to a more primitive state. Call it the baby state. A baby has to develop the central nervous system from the bottom up by movement. So basically as a stroke survivor you have regressed back to a more primitive states. Your limbs, affected limbs, the arm and leg that do not work or you have spasticity in or no control over, they are disconnected from the central nerve system. So the first thing you have to then do is reconnect the disconnected body parts. And that is exactly what happens when you are doing the movements a baby does. Crawling, crawling on your back, moving on your back, starting the interaction with your environment, uh, and becoming more and more complex because you are building the layers in the brain by moving first in a primitive way and uh, the movements become more and more focused. You start propping yourself up, you start to roll over, you start to crawl in different ways on the front and these activate very powerful reflex pathways in the spinal cord, in the brainstem and also connecting up the two hemispheres. So, repetition in those type of movements will reconnect the limbs, not only between each other, to each other, but also to the central nerve system. And by keep on doing this, building in a lot of repetitions and adding on other exercises, you start to engage the whole nerve system again and makes it more probable that you get better control over the affected sites. Now, I already mentioned that when you are crawling in a rhythmic way, in a synchronous way, so you're moving in a synchrony, that is the key, and in a rhythmic way, you also engage the two hemispheres. This is the way the hemisphere is built up. Also, when you start to crawl on all fours, you prop your head up, the vestibular system, the balance system comes in and you add more and more complexity to the movement. The two hemispheres, the interaction between them is crucial after a stroke because normally, typically what happens and when you focus on one side, the opposite hemisphere to the one that got the stroke gets enhanced, starts to work better and it presses away the already affected hemisphere and makes it even more difficult to rehab the affected site. But by alternating movement in a rhythmic way, you start to disinhibit the affected hemisphere again, and you make it more probable that you get some control from there onto the affected site. So crossing the midline, doing rhythmic, synchronized movements, like with walking, with, with crawling, with uh, swimming, with mimicking these movements will greatly help your recovery. Now, the other thing that has helped our clients tremendously is not by going straight away to the foot and to the hand, but make sure that the whole movement chain from the shoulder to the elbow to the underarm to the hand, same hip, buttocks to the foot, are involved and there's a lot of reflexes that are built into your nerve system that actually can help connecting for example the foot up when you withdraw the foot roll your foot back it's like a natural withdrawal reflex or natural stepping reflex you can use these mechanisms to rehabilitate and prepare for what you're going to do with the foot in isolation or with the hand in isolation so looking at the whole body movements and then at the whole movement chain on the affected side will be very beneficial to rehab the hand and the foot. And of course you can do this next to what you're already doing, but combining these two principles and also rehabilitating the hand and the foot from, for example, the spastic position and in different body positions will greatly 
add on to the effect that you're already having with other training methods. So now you have, we have revealed a little bit about the secret behind the success we have with uh, our clients. We also make sure, and that's why we are working on machines that you can continue at home, but also when you come and rehab with us, that we have the tools and the machines where you can do these exercises on. Because they're often hard to do just on your own. You need often a lot of help with this. So hope this was interesting. See you in the next video.